Welcome to my super late and super quick 10,000 subscriber special. I wanted to make this video for two reasons. First, to say thank you to all of you, and second, to show off this little guy right here. You see, this is the reason that this video is so late. I've been trying to find one of these since way before I had 10,000 subs, and I just finally now got my hands on one. So, what is it, right? Well, if you've been watching my videos for a while now, then you've probably seen either one or both of my two videos about the Lorne Bosworth Monument in Eastford, Connecticut. Those two videos are, without a doubt, the biggest thing I've ever done on this channel. The first one in particular has 70,000 views, which is way more than anything else on my channel. So I thought it would only be appropriate to cap off the first leg of my YouTube journey with this. A picture of the Lorne Bosworth Monument being transported across Connecticut. And this is, a, this is actually more than just a picture because what this is, is a 100 plus year old postcard depicting the long perilous journey of the Lorne Bosworth Monument across Northeastern Connecticut. It is so cool to actually hold this in my hands. You know, I've been thinking and talking about this exact journey for close to half a year now. And it's just so insane to actually see the horses and the people and the carts that were involved in transporting this thing across all these old dirt roads. This is so cool to see too because it just like really confirms a lot of the findings that we uncovered in those first two videos, right? Because if you look at this, it is just the base of the Bosworth Monument, so not even the entire thing. And the base alone already requires like, <laughs> what is this, like 16 horses here pulling this thing and probably like 10 or 12 men standing around it who are a part of the caravan. Man, it is just, it is crazy to look at this. <laughs> this postcard was actually sent too through the mail, which makes it even cooler. You know, it's postmarked as January 14th, 1908. Even got the old vintage one cent stamp on it too. <laughs> it's funny to look at this too, because uh, if you remember from the first Lauren Bosworth monument video, I made like a really big deal about how a lot of people in Eastford really didn't like Lauren Bosworth that much. <laughs> so it's just like so easy to look at this picture and look at all those guys like sitting on the cart and just imagine how much <laughs> they're hating that they've got to drag this humongous thing across Connecticut <laughs> in the memory of this dude that they didn't even like. <laughs> also, uh, doesn't the fact that this thing exists at all really drive home the point about how much of an event the Lauren Bosworth Monument traversal must have been back in the day? I mean, they literally made a postcard about it, so it must have been a big deal, right? <laughs> but anyway, I hope uh, seeing that was as cool for you guys as it was for me. Thank you so much for helping me get to 10,000 subscribers. I know that it is a, a huge cliche to say that I couldn't have done it without you, but when you look at my YouTube stats, I literally could not have done it without you. I mean, 75% of the views on the original Monument to Loathing video are from external websites, and over 50% of the views on all of my videos over the past year are from links for, uh, on external websites, which means that a huge amount of my growth over the last year has come from you guys sharing my videos around the web so thank you so much for that it is you do not know how humbling and how motivating it is to see that kind of support so thank you i'll see you next time i got plenty more stories to tell i'll see you around <laughs>